Welcome to the Project Grid Editor. Here's where all the magic happens. Here is where you can create boundless immersive experiences across different XR technologies. This video will take you through the basics of the grid and familiarize you with all the features and capabilities in Plug XR's creative suite. Let's have a look at how we can use the grid to its maximum potential. Design Panel Navigating our design panel offers a seamless journey at the core of our intuitive interface. Positioned centrally on the navigation bar, you'll find three tabs, Design, Code, and Publish, each representing distinct stages in your creative process. The design panel, residing beneath the design tab, empowers users to sculpt immersive scenarios and scenes by effortlessly manipulating three-dimensional assets within the grid. Operate a suite of nine options, aligned from left to right, scenes, elements, assets, focus, dimension, full screen, move, rotate, and scale. The Scene Creator, the first drop-down option, allows you to add and curate multiple experiences within a single project effortlessly. When creating an experience you might want to have several experiences within the same project to do so simply add a scene by clicking on the plus button and naming your scene in the new field. To edit any of the scenes you can hover over the desired scene in the drop-down and four actions will be available to execute. Add, rename, duplicate, or delete scenes with a simple click. Advanced users can seamlessly inject code or create interactions by referencing scene IDs. Click on Get ID to copy and reference the scene in order to place it within the coding structure. The next feature within the design panel is the Elements drop-down, offering a versatile array of platform components. Explore four distinct categories, Lighting, Elements, Shapes, and Hotspots. The Lighting category empowers you to curate your ideal lighting atmosphere, providing options such as Point Light, Directional Light, Spotlight, or a default lighting type to seamlessly integrate into your scene. Moving on, the Elements category offers a rich selection for crafting your environment and effects. Choose from a diverse array including terrain, water, cloud, star, rain, snow, fire, and leaves. The next are the shapes, one of the foundational layers. Shape elements are the building blocks of assets, choose from a plane, box, capsule, circle, cylinder, and a torus. The final element is the indispensable hotspot. In situations where highlighting points of interest is paramount, hotspots emerge as the ideal choice. These elements prove invaluable for effectively indicating areas or points of interaction within your showcase. The third option on the design panel is the asset selection. The asset selection enables a user to choose or upload a file into the grid. When you click on the assets selection a dialog box will appear containing three tabs assets, themes and templates. The first tab is the assets tab. Within the assets tab you can select a range of assets from the left such as 3D objects, images, audio, video, text, buttons, sprites and widgets. You may also upload any kind of asset for any of these formats. Use the search bar and sorting features to find any particular asset. Starting from the top one of the most common assets are 3D objects, you can upload a GLB file or access the library assets. PlugXR has an existing library of 3D objects to choose from where you can peruse Sketchfab's library assets. Sketchfab is a 3D modeling platform website to publish, share, discover, buy and sell 3D, VR, and AR content. If you have any assets that you have uploaded you can access them in the My Assets tab and if you have any that are allocated in your server you may find them in the Own Server tab. Under Images you can also browse PlugXR's image library or upload an image in the form of a JPG, JPEG, or PNG. Uploaded images can be found in the My Assets tab. For audio files you can upload MP3 files and click on the Add button next to the named file to include them in the grid. Video files can be uploaded in MP4 format and will be in the My Assets tab once uploaded. PlugXR has some basic videos in its library. The next option is Fonts. 
Plug XR has a range of preloaded fonts to choose from. You can choose to upload custom fonts to enhance the typography of your experience. Similar to images, you can assign buttons to trigger actions. Simply upload a JPG, JPEG, or PNG file of the button to add it to the library of buttons. Plug XR supports the use of sprites. You can simply upload a sprite sheet to the asset library to perform basic animations. The last option in the assets is the widgets option. You can add a range of widgets such as slideshows, stencils, templates to create a more robust user interaction. The next tab is the themes tab. Once an entire experience is saved as a theme it will be accessible in the themes tab. You can save an experience by going to file and then clicking save theme, then naming the theme. This will generate a theme file which will be stored in all your theme tabs in future projects. The last tab in assets is the template tab. Access templates that you have made by clicking on my templates, you can access plug XR templates by clicking on the store button. Here we have a few default and commonly used templates such as the portal template, shooter game template and the furniture template to name a few. The fourth option on the design panel is the focus button. The shortcut for this is F on the keyboard. By clicking on focus you can view the selected object from a top view perspective in order to assess the object from top down angle. The fifth option on the design panel is the dimension button. This feature helps you toggle the view of your AR experience in two dimension or three dimension. The sixth option on the design panel is the full screen button. The full screen button toggle helps you view the entire grid in full screen while the controls within the grid for a more optimized control and view for designing the experience. The last three buttons determine object controls these are position, rotation and scale. Position helps you move the chosen object to a desired position. Rotate helps you rotate the chosen object on the central axis until you get a desired rotation position. Scale helps you increase or decrease the size of the object. You could also move, rotate and scale the object by clicking upon it and dragging the transform controller, red, green, and blue lines on all three dimensions, till the model is in the desired position. The white shape at the center of the axis of the object enables movement of the object in all three dimensions simultaneously. Clicking on the yellow, light blue, and pink squares between the two colored lines will allow you to move the object in the respective two dimensions simultaneously. Code Panel For a heightened and advanced user experience, Plug XR empowers users with robust coding features to leverage deeper experience building. Positioned in the center bar, the next tab unveils the code panel, ushering users into a coding environment. Upon selecting this tab, users are seamlessly transported to a coding view, characterized by a three-segment layout. The first segment, the file and scene listing, provides users with an overview of the project's HTML, CSS, and JS files, enabling them to craft custom code for each page. Additionally, users can explore existing scenes and elements, facilitating efficient navigation. By simply clicking on any listed item, users can initiate code composition in the central code editor. The code editor, located in the middle segment, serves as the canvas for crafting all the necessary code. Users can effortlessly add new pages or components by clicking the plus button adjacent to the top of the editor. The third and final segment of the code editor is the preview, enabling users to write code and instantaneously visualize results on the right side. This seamless integration allows users to efficiently map out the entire immersive experience within a unified and comprehensive view. A user may launch the code by clicking on the Run Script button in green located on the top right above the Preview segment. Preview Panel The final tab, situated at the center following the code panel, unveils the Preview Panel. Upon activating the Preview Panel, your project seamlessly transitions into an unencumbered mode providing an immersive glimpse into its intended environment. This tab proves invaluable for meticulous bug checking, refining current versions, or, as the name suggests, previewing the anticipated user experience. Object List Panel 
The next key part of the Plug XR Grid Editor is the Object List Panel. The Object List Panel located on the left of the page depicts all the elements and assets present on the grid. You can add a folder in the Object List to group any of these elements by clicking on the Add Group icon to the left of the Object List title on the top right. Here you can shift these objects into appropriate groups to manipulate certain assets in sync. Each asset has three vertical dots next to it that give the user the ability to either rename, delete, or reference the ID of that particular object. By default the object is named according to its asset or element type. Each object can be edited and allocated events in correspondence with the Properties and Events panel. Properties, Events and Integration the Properties and Events panel located on the right side of the grid help configure the settings and experience of objects in the grid. The panel consists of four tabs, Properties, Events, Integrate and Guide. Properties The first tab Properties has three different types of settings Standard Settings, Scene Settings, Advanced 3D Settings. Standard Settings allows the user to manually change the position, rotation or scale of the object along any of the X, Y and Z axes. The scaling setting can be unlocked or locked depending on whether you want to increase the size of the object uniformly or augment or decrease a particular axis exclusively. Below these object controls are two toggles. The first is labeled Show on Tracking. This toggle sets up whether the object is shown or not upon triggering the experience. You may desire some objects to be unseen until triggered by an interaction, for example you may set up an event for it to be revealed later in the experience. To hide this object in the beginning you can keep the toggle off to unshow the object till triggered, the second toggle named Transparency controls whether the object turns transparent or remains opaque. This comes in handy when you have a number of objects and would like to see them and set them unhindered or if you want to add glossy or custom textures to create certain looks. The next group of settings are the scene settings. The scene settings are used to customize the surroundings of the experience. Users can craft immersive experiences by setting the perfect environment to enhance the scene's ambience. Diverse background options allow users to design experiences that stand out in any context. Next, you also get to fine-tune the visual tone of your masterpiece. You can adjust the mapping to convey the exact mood and atmosphere you envision. You can also adjust the exposure precision to take control of exposure levels. It allows users to illuminate their experience by achieving optimal lighting in the scene. Below these settings is the Bloom Toggle. It enhances the visual impact of your experience. Whether it's subtle radiance or an ethereal glow, Bloom brings your creations to life with enhanced visual impact. Advanced 3D settings are the next group of settings. It allows users to add to the 3D object intricacies of shaders, color, base map, metalness, smoothness, emission, normal map, and occlusion. Think of shaders as the stylist for your 3D scene. They determine the visual style, affecting aspects like lighting, shading, and reflections. Color settings enable you to customize every hue, allowing you to create a vibrant and visually appealing 3D environment. Consider the base map as the foundation of your 3D object. This setting lets you define textures and details, providing depth and character to your models. Choose textures that align with your vision to set the tone for your entire experience. Metalness adds a touch of metallic brilliance to your 3D elements. Whether you're aiming for a sleek metal finish or a subtle metallic sheen, adjusting the metalness setting allows you to achieve the desired level of shine. You can also adjust the smoothness to refine the texture of your 3D objects. It helps you to achieve the level of polish or ruggedness that aligns with your creative vision, ensuring your experiences are visually appealing. Next, emission settings allow you to infuse your 3D designs with light. Whether you want to add a subtle glow or make specific elements stand out, emission empowers you to bring luminosity to your creations. Details matter, and that's where normal maps come into play. It adds intricate details and textures to your 3D models, elevating the realism and sophistication of your experience. 
Finally, you can apply occlusion settings to enhance the realism of your 3D scenes by adding depth and shadow. Consider it as the final touch that makes your creations feel grounded and integrated into their environment. Events Having uploaded a 3D object on the project editor, users can create single-tap and double-tap events to add actions. Under Events, when you click on Create Event, it asks you to choose single-tap or double-tap. By choosing any of them, you can add actions. They are Show, Hide, Play, Pause, Animation Play, Animation Pause, Fade In, Fade Out, Change Color, Change Texture, Change URL, Change Sprite, Change Scene and Model Animation. If you've chosen Double Tap while creating the event, these actions will occur on Double Tap and vice versa. Integration Once you have created an experience within the grid editor, seamlessly integrating it into your website becomes a breeze. The Integration tab, situated conveniently next to the Properties tab, empowers you to effortlessly make this transition. Navigate to the Integration section where possibilities unfold. Simply copy the provided iframe code and seamlessly embed your AR experience into your website's HTML. Previewing and sharing your published experience is a joy in two distinct ways. Either copy and paste the preview link directly into your browser or engage with the immersive content by scanning the QR code. The choice is yours, instant access with just a link or a quick scan. Adding a personalized touch is easy with the ability to create a custom QR code. Make it uniquely yours by uploading a custom logo and choose from a range of sizes, 150p, 256p, 512p, or go big with 1024p. Download your custom QR code, a uniquely tailored key to showcase your AR experience with flair. Animation While you create an experience, you can embark on a journey of dynamic creativity in the animation section, nestled in the bottom left corner of our grid editor interface. Here, you wield the power to breathe life into your AR project. The interactive timeline within this section becomes your artistic canvas, allowing you to meticulously choreograph the movements of selected objects. Delve into the rhythm of animation by adjusting the timeline, where you dictate the timing, duration, and style of each sequence. As you infuse animations into your objects, witness your project metamorphose into a vibrant and interactive experience, whether through subtle motions or dynamic transitions. This animation haven becomes the playground for your imagination, experiment, refine, and let your AR project dance to the symphony of your creative vision. Saving and Publishing When you are all set to publish your project, look for the Publish button in the top right corner. On clicking this button, users can publish their newly created projects or changes to an existing project. After clicking, a message pops up saying your changes are now out there. It's like putting your art on display. The pop-up gives you a QR code and a preview link to let you preview and share the experience with others. There's also an embed link, a special code you can copy and paste to put your project right onto your website. So, the publish button is like the big moment when your work is ready for everyone to see and enjoy.